As you guys can see, we clearly, well, we did a little bit of shopping, boys. That we did, or that you did. All right, so today we're gonna be unboxing a couple of accessories for a brand new camera that we just picked up. If you guys don't know, there is a brand called Red and they're basically like the epitome of all cinema cameras. And recently, yes, I decided to pull the trigger and finally pick up the Red Komodo. Believe it or not, the package actually arrived today. So I picked up a couple of accessories that are really gonna help elevate this camera to the next level. I've got my buddy Gavin with me, who's also a really great cinematographer. So we're gonna break down all the different pieces and components that we bought so that if anyone out there is looking to upgrade to a cinema camera, these are gonna be the best accessories for you guys so without further ado let's just jump right into it all right so obviously as you guys can see we have a wide variety of tech that we've picked up a couple of them are accessories while others are main components like hard drives or gimbals so we're really going to break down every step of the process but first off let's talk about audio and if you guys can see right now we're recording on the Rode wireless go system to be honest these are probably the best wireless lobs that you can pick up for about 200 to 250 dollars but if you can hear the audio quality is actually pretty nice and the fact that it's completely wireless makes it super easy to give the lobs to any of the people on set but a really great accessory to pick up is actually going to be this lavalier go this not only allows you to plug it straight into the lavalier but it also attaches directly onto your clothes so you get a lot more crisper sound so let's go ahead and pop these open all right now obviously you're gonna need something to power the camera and if you know anything about the red digital system it's that they require very high voltage batteries so these right here are some off-brand batteries these are red approved meaning that they will work with the red komodo and honestly it's a much cheaper alternative than buying the actual red batteries so for a price of about 350 bucks you get a two-pack that comes with the charger so the single battery you should be getting around three to four hours of charge so it's definitely going to be some pretty high voltage for the red komodo and this right here is going to be a duo charger so that you can actually charge the batteries at the same time you want to talk about the hot swapping features so the reason we went with these canon bp batteries was the fact that with the komodo instead of using a v-mount you can use these batteries and be able to swap them during a shoot so if one battery starts to die just put this in the second slot on the camera and then as soon as that first battery dies the power to the camera will instantly transfers so you don't have to repower the camera reboot it up so that's a super nice feature and plus if you're in the middle of a shoot you don't have to worry about the camera just dying and losing that entire shot you just did. All right, so BP batteries are definitely gonna be a great thing to have. Should we move over to storage? Yeah. All right. All right, so anytime you're deciding to level up your gear, one thing that's also going to have to upgrade with you is going to be your hard drive and your storage options. Obviously, if you're shooting on a DSLR or a mirrorless camera, they do accept regular SD cards, but when you get to the more professional, higher level cinema cameras, you're gonna have to upgrade to something called a CFast. And a CFast is essentially a bigger and faster way to not only transfer memory, but to also shoot and record the data that you need to process. So if you're trying to shoot, obviously something like 6K, you're definitely going to need a fast memory card. Right now we've picked up the Lexar 256 gigabyte, which is definitely a trusted brand. Lexar, if you're watching this, please send us some SD cards. Because we're gonna be using these things up. But along with that, you're also going to have to upgrade your hard drive. But along with that, you're also going to have to upgrade your hard drive system. So this right here is a SanDisk Professional G Drive Pro. It's got 12 terabytes of storage. This is actually gonna be a much nicer solution for me to back up all the footage we have and any of the past projects I've been working on. So having a long-term hard drive is definitely going to be an essential. Let's save these two bad boys for the end, but we'll go ahead and move over to some focus systems. All right, so obviously since we're upgrading to a cinema camera, we're gonna need something called cinema lenses. And they are pretty similar to any other lens you might own. However, for a majority of them, they aren't going to have autofocus. That means you're gonna to have to get something like a focus puller system so that you're able to manually rack the focus or have someone operate it wirelessly looking at the director's monitor. So this right here is a Tilta Nucleus Nano. And honestly, this has definitely been one of the biggest game changers when it comes to cinematography because you're now able to wirelessly pull focus from anywhere you are and just attach the motor to the camera. So this is actually my very first time having one of these in my hands. I'm very excited about this. I think it's gonna be one of the best additions to our red komodo setup but in addition to that we also picked up this side handle so let me open it up and tell you guys a little bit about it Bro, i will say this is smooth oh definitely especially when you're on sets or filming some sort of short films or documentaries you want to make sure that your focus pooling is smooth now in addition to that i've also got this tilt to side handle and the cool thing about this side handle is that if i got it on the left side it's actually got a ring right here where you can also use it to pull the focus so if i have the motor attached to the camera all i have to do is move my index finger and i can now zoom zoom or focus and that's honestly pretty insane that I'm able to have it built into this handle right here. Yeah, that's crazy. So we got a focus puller for someone off camera mm -hmm. and on camera. So that's just a great addition to have, especially with a camera that it has autofocus, but it's still not up to the standards that we're used to mm -hmm. and appreciate, but. Having something like this just gives you a lot more flexibility, a lot more creative control, so someone else can be pulling focus and you can just worry about getting your composition right. So these two things are definitely going to be a huge game changer. Gab, should we do the honors? You want me to? All right. 
How do you open this? <laughs> flip it, flip it. <laughs> Alright, so if you don't know, RED cinema cameras are basically known for having modular components, meaning you have to buy a bunch of different accessories or specific parts that are built just for the RED system. So this one right here is a product from RED, but sheesh. Bro. Damn. That's nice. Can you believe I paid $500 for this thing right here? It has simply one function, and that's to record your media. Well. Okay, and you have a pretty nice handle. But this right here is called the Red Outrigger Handle. There were a lot of setup videos that I watched and everyone seemed to really enjoy using this. It actually feels very ergonomic in the hands. And given the fact that the record button on the Komodo is not in a very convenient position, this just gives you much more precise control. And honestly, for the price tag, you're definitely getting what you pay for. It feels very sturdy. It feels very premium for sure. It looks like it's supposed to be heavy, but it's super lightweight. It's very lightweight and I think it's gonna be one of the best additions to the Komodo. Amazing grip, I love it. But, can't forget about this guy. He's been waiting around in the corner, so we gotta show him some more. All right, ladies and gentlemen, DJI has recently come out with their RS2. We decided to pick up the Pro Combo, but let's go ahead and open this thing up. Dang, man. Sheesh, this thing is heavy. All right, so this right here is a DJI Pro RS2 combo. I'm actually very impressed with the size of this package because it's actually pretty compact. It's something that you can easily carry on to your planes or anything like that. And you have a fully functioning gimbal setup, but... Yeah, it's already like half the size of the uh, first... That's it? That's it. All right, so basically the top folds down like this. You got a big compartment. You don't have to worry about fidgeting it in a tiny case that's not gonna fit. And then on the other side is actually where you get all the accessories. So you got your grips, you've got your power, and this is actually a really handy dandy little carrying pouch. You got places for all your accessories. And the tech that I'm most excited to test out with this combo is going to be their new Raven Eye technology. Basically, Raven Eye uses LiDAR sensors to determine how far your subject is from your camera and autofocus on any lens you're using. It's very similar to the focus pulling system we mentioned earlier. However, this completely uses LiDAR technology, so this is gonna be a huge game changer. I'm very excited to test this out with some manual lenses. Yeah, and this is gonna be great for uh, low light shots. I mean, it will be able to detect people, whatever you're shooting, so it even comes with a nice little phone clamp. You can use this to connect to the app and monitor your footage. All right, my initial impressions, I do like that it has a locking mechanism. It's something that a lot of gimbals have been doing and DJI has finally caught on to it. But if you've ever worked with a gimbal before, you know that balancing it is crucial. So anytime we're running from sets or wanting to change the mount that we're shooting on, I've actually picked up this quick release plate from Ziyun. And all you gotta do is screw it onto the bottom of your tripod. This one right here is going to be used to balance the gimbal. And once you screw that onto the base of your gimbal, all you gotta do is use this quick release and you can easily detach this little tripod right here and it just snaps right back on but the great thing about this quick release system is that it can be used basically with any sort of product so the reason i picked it up is definitely going to be for this gimbal but it's also going to be a great way to mount and mount it to make sure that you've got the easiest and fastest set of time possible and already the way you put this thing together feels a lot more compact feels a lot more ergonomic feels like they just listen to all the complaints that people have been having with the previous dji ronin all right so the cool thing about the dji rs2 is that it also has a focus wheel right here on the index finger meaning you can basically do the same exact focus pulling with the systems we mentioned earlier. All right, folks, that's gonna wrap it up for this massive unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the accessories that we picked up for this red Komodo setup. Yo, I'm excited for tomorrow, man. Yeah. Like this unboxing video is gonna be crazy. We're gonna go out into the city and shoot some test footage. So make sure to stick around, guys. I'm very excited for what's to happen with this camera. There's gonna be a lot of projects that we're gonna be working on. So this is really just the start of the journey. But if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to drop a like down below. Don't forget to check out Gavin on Instagram. And as always, folks, don't stress, finesse. Peace, y'all. Very good.